Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel The Resting Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing about running collection from command line using Bruno CLI and collection runner. So first, I am going to discuss about collection runner. I am going straight into the demo. I have already opened Bruno. I am using the collection request for this particular demo. There are five requests under this collection. First one is create user. For create user, I have added three assertions and four tests. For get user, in the assert tab, I have added one assertion to check the status code. For update user, I have added assertion for checking the status code. For partial update user also, I have added one assertion to check the status code. And delete user also, I have done the same assertion. Now, we want to run the complete collection. To run the complete collection, Bruno has a feature called collection runner. You can do this in two ways. First option is click the three dots that is displayed against the collection name. There is a run option. Also, in the top right corner, you can see a running logo. So, there is runner option here as well. So, I am clicking on this button. So, you can mention the delay between the each request in the collection. If you mention 1000 millisecond each color be executed with a difference of one second between each of the requests in the collection so here i have mentioned the delay as 1000 millisecond which is one second now i am running the collection you can see that there is you have five requests in the collection message i am clicking on this button so there is a delay between each request is one second which we have given so all the assertions and tests which they have added in the request have been passed. So this is how you can run collection runner in Bruno UI. If you want to run again, you can use this button. And if you want to reset, you can click on this reset. So reset will allow you to reset the delay time if you need. In some cases, the server will be responding slowly. In that case, this delay will be helpful. Now I am going to discuss about Bruno CLI. I am again going to the not part. So with Bruno CLI, you can run your API collections with ease using simple command line commands. This makes it easier to test your APIs in different environments, automate your testing process and integrate your API test with your continuous integration and deployment workflows. Prerequisite for installing Bruno CLI is we have to be having Node.js in our system. To check whether your system is having Node.js, you can use this particular command. So I am opening command line. Just use the Windows plus R shortcut and type CMD here and click on OK. So it will be opening the command line and use the command node space minus V to check whether node is already available in your system. If it is available, it will be Showing the version of the node version which is installed in your system. If it is not, please install Node.js from this link. I will be sharing these details in the video description. Now the next step is to install Bruno CLI. To do that, you have to use this particular command. Using the node package manager, you have to install so npm install this minus t indicates that this installation is a global one. Just click on enter button. The installation will take some time. Installation is completed. Now we have to open command line in the location where our collection is residing. So I have created the request collection in YouTube folder. Inside that there is a Bruno folder. There is also Bruno API testing folder. Inside that only I have created the request collection. So I am opening command line in this location. Make sure you are opening command line in the location where your collection is residing. So just type cmd in the address bar and click on enter. This will open command line in the location. Now the next step is to use the Bruno CLI command to run the collection. So if you have environment, you have to use this particular command. Brew run then hyphen hyphen env is the flag to pass the environment value 
we have a environment called qi where we have mentioned the base url value if you don't have the environment you can use this particular command since i am having environment i am using this particular command i am copying the command and pasting it here just click on enter you can see all the requests have been executed successfully all the assertions and test have been passed there are seven assertions those seven got passed and there are four tests as well so it also got passed so this is how you can run collection from command line using bruno cla so i hope uh, this session was very useful for everyone if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing the channel please like share and comment on the video thanks for watching and keep learning